welcome you all uh, i am dr b vinodini as associate professor of uh, department of computers and engineering sns college of technology i welcome you all for this uh, lecture series of design and analysis of algorithm uh, in this series in the last two videos we have seen how what is the introduction about the design and analysis of algorithm and the fundamental aspects of algorithmic problem solving sir in today's uh, class and today's lecture we are, we are going to see about uh, the gcd of two numbers using the euclidean algorithm sir uh, so all you know that what is a gcd gcd is another thing but it is a greatest common divisor of two numbers to calculate the greatest common divisor we have a three methods to calculate one is a euclidean algorithm second one is a consecutive integer checking algorithm and third is a middle school procedures so in this class uh, you are going to see about how to calculate the uh, gcd using the euclidean algorithm sir so in this uh, this is a, there is a what is the logic begin this is Uh, we are going to pass the two numbers and we do the modulus operation among two numbers and uh, the we have to store the uh, modulus result into the one variable the third step we have to interchange all the variables until we reach the remainder is zero uh, we stop the process this is the logic begin how to calculate the gcd using the euclidean algorithm sir now we will see the algorithm this is algorithm for the euclidean uh, to calculate the gcd of two numbers using the euclidean one is first step if n is equal to 0 return the value of m as the answer and stop ingla otherwise proceed to the second step first what we have to do we have to pass the two numbers and uh, we have to do the next is a step 2 is a divide uh, m by n and assign the value of remainder to the variable r next step 3 is assign the value of n to m and the value of r to n then again go to step 1 again check if n is equal to 0 means return the value so this is the algorithm uh, this is the procedure to calculate the euclidean this is the pseudo code the second the lower part is the pseudo code of this algorithms so uh, you know already you know that how to write the algorithm so the algorithm all name of the algorithm and uh, uh, what are the what are the parameters we are going to pass next we have to problem description so in that we are describing we are going to compute the gcd of m comma n by euclidean algorithms and the next is a what is an input and third is a output so the input is nothing but it is a two non negative uh, both uh, not both zero integers m and n the output is the greatest common divisor of m and n so what is the procedure we have to uh, do the say modulus operation until n is equal to 0 so the while n is not equal to 0 do the following things so we are going to first check whether the n is equal to 0 or not if it is not equal to 0 means we have to do the modulus operation m on m and n so the result will be stored in the variable r that is the remainder so what is the modulus operation it returns the uh, remainder that remainder is stored in the variable r second step we have to interchange the variables value so the n value n variable n value is stored in m and r value uh, is stored in n so finally we have to do this three step process until when n is equal to 0 once we reach n is equal to 0 uh, it comes out from the loop uh, while loop and return the value m that is the answer of the gcd of two numbers so the m is the answer so that will return uh, finally this is the procedure for calculating the gcd of two numbers in next for that we have to for every algorithm we have to analysis uh, what is the space and time complexity so the analysis framework is nothing but it is a systematic approach applying for analyzing any algorithms so in this analysis framework can consider of the several characteristics uh, one is that we have to measuring the space and time complexity and uh, we have based upon we have to compute the best worst case and average case of uh, efficiencies and what is the order of growth of algorithms and what is the measuring of running input and what is the input size so based upon these factors every algorithms is analyzed and that performance is calculated 
so in that analysis framework this is the four main categories other than that important category important efficiency is the time and space complexity uh, so in today's class we have to see we are seeing uh, how to find uh, what is the measuring the space and time complexity so what is the space complexity the space complexity is nothing but amount of space occupied uh, by the corresponding execution of a program so how much memory that program is occupied to execute the specific programs so to form uh, to find the uh, space complexity what is the formula means space complexity of the program is equal to c plus sp so what is the c here there is a constants for the inputs and outputs so the sp is a instance characteristics of the program so for example consider uh, in this algorithm uh, we have to add the two numbers so in that sum is equal to 0 for i is equal to 1 to n to sum is equal to sum plus x of i return sum in that the space complexity is so what is the variables instance variables here sum i and n that is 1 1 1 so the total number of variable is equal to 3 and space for array x is equal to n so this is a space complexity next is a how to calculate the uh, time complexity means uh, we will see in the next class thank you